Oh my God, darling, look at the size of this piece of petrified wood. Come here. Holy it's Lord, let me. It's May 12th. We're going for a hike on a creek here in the Whitecourt area. We were in here like two weeks ago. We saw a big piece of petrified wood. It was about a 40 pound piece. So we got the Trapper Nelson pack frame on it. We're going to uh, haul that thing out of here. It's a beautiful day again. A little overcast. Like 18 or 20 degrees out. Really can't complain. Okay, here we go. Here's that one piece of petrified wood that we found. That right there. But a, I'm, that's the one I'm saying. That's about a 40, 40 pound piece. So we're going to take that guy. We also found a much larger one, like, I don't know that we could take it, but well, if we find it again today, I'll videotape it at least. You can see that was a tree a long time ago. Oh, sorry, I didn't do that good. <laughs> no worries. So what we're going to do, because we're going further on down the river, I'm just going to stand him right here. Can't miss it on the way back. Okay. Found a little piece of petrified wood. We're always hunting for this stuff. It's so cool. You can see the old uh, grain of it. I wonder how old petrified wood is. Someday i got to figure that out. Look at this area of the river where we are. Look at this sandstone cliff there. It's pretty cool. There's one spire there kind of right in the middle just standing up. It's like 15 feet high or so. This uh, is constantly eroding and big chunks dropping off that face over time and down into the river, right? Oh my God, Darlene, look at the size of this piece of petrified wood. Come here. Holy Lord, lift it. Wow. That thing is massive. That's, that's an, an ancient stump. Holy crap. I mean... That thing's five feet across. That's five feet across and it's probably five feet deep down into the into the sand here. Wow, eh? You imagine if you could get that thing out. I mean that thing's gotta weigh six or seven hundred pounds. Holy smokes. You said there's another one over here? Okay. We just got back out to where this huge old uh, stump is. Ancient piece. Petrified wood. Can't get over the size of it. Look at my little uh, my little gold pan and shovel sitting on there. This thing's five feet across. It's about two and a half feet high, and God knows how deep it sinks into that sand. Probably down in there like a foot and a half, two feet. Man. Well, wife is up ahead of me. i got to get Mosey in here. I submitted pictures of this piece to the Royal Tyrell Museum, and their information indicates this was formed in what was called the Pascapoo Formation. 
the Paleocene epoch and it's roughly 45 to 66 million years old. We're just coming back out to where that uh, smaller piece of petrified wood is. It's stand, stuck in the sand over in that river bank over there. Whoops. Rocks are slippery. So this guy, you've got to go on the pack frame. So we'll take a little sit down here and get this loaded up. Yeah, this thing. Look at this thing. You can even you can still see the charcoal left from this thing burning up in a fire eons ago. And it's it's still in the stone there. That's friggin' amazing. But it's a little bit delicate. I don't wanna I don't wanna chip away that old uh, charcoal. Get this guy on my back frame here. Huh. The stone didn't feel that heavy when <laughs> picked it up. Why aren't you filming? <laughs> oh, am I supposed to be filmed? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you're doing good. Okay. Okay. I just thought I was coming to help you. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing good. There we go. Not bad once I'm up. Okay. Well, we still got to try to find that other damn piece. I think we're gonna. Funny thing. Going back and forth across these darn little rapids. The way I fell in earlier. Slipped on a damn rock. Dried right out now. But she, <laughs> she sat right in the river. Filled both boots. How about this? <coughs> I just, uh, I see a piece of uh, wood that we've been seeking. Yeah, it's up there on your left, about 20 yards, babe. Oh, yeah. You see it? Yep. There's the son of a bitch. That's a one. Isn't that a gorgeous piece? Yes. Like, that's a nice, but, uh, that is a nice piece. Yeah, but you see the size of it, right? Yeah, I know. Like, that thing is deeply embedded in the river and that's another piece that's two or three thousand pounds and that thing just keeps going down you're only seeing the very top of that piece of wood uh, that thing could be still three feet down into the gravel next to the one on my back and then the huge one further downstream like that piece right there, that'd be like the second biggest piece of petrified wood I've ever seen. The one further down being numero uno. It's 3.30. And we're just uh, heading out. Taking our time, mind you. No reason to hurry. Why hurry? Doesn't get you anywhere. I suppose it gets you faster, but you enjoy it as much? Probably not. Yep. Eat your meal slow. Sip your whiskey. Waterfall. Spectacular. Nobody here. That's uh, amazing. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a gorgeous day. Nobody out here except us. So this video is, was previously released four years ago. Now the reason that I'm re-releasing this is because of an extraordinary find. Now look at this piece right here. Look at the charcoal on it. Look at the incredible fine growth rings in that wood. This was found on the McLeod River about a month ago I found this. And it was along with this piece that you're going to see next. It was on all, in the same riverbank. There's a piece here that's absolutely extraordinary. Look at this. There's a giant old stump or tree trunk 
embedded in the riverbank. I'm not entirely sure how big it is. It's about four feet across, probably. And if you'll notice, you can see the charcoal on it as well, same as on that smaller piece. And we're going on an expedition today with a fellow from the Royal Tyrell Museum to examine it, this piece closely. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I hope you found it interesting and get out there, explore Alberta. There's a lot to see here. Thanks for watching, folks. Later.